What's up, guys? It's me, your badass host, Draven, and welcome to another episode of our Pokemon Alpha Sapphire walkthrough. Okay, so in our last episode, we got back on track, and we are here now in Doofert Town, and, well, we're gonna be taking on the gym leader, Brawly, and, well, oh, man, it's gonna be a, it's gonna be a difficult one. We're gonna be going in raw now. If you remember a few episodes ago, we managed to capture ourselves a shiny Pokemon, I think it was Cascoon or Silcoon, and here we have Sexy Fly. Oh my god. Mm. Mm -mm -mm. So, in capturing this Pokemon, it got me thinking, well, I do have a collection of Pokemon that I've actually captured a while back. They were Shinies, and I am going to show you the Shiny Pokemon that I've, uh, you know, that I've acquired through either trays or just, you know, breeding and whatnot. So, as you guys can see, here we have the Azuril, or Azumarill, that I actually caught, or that I got through a, uh, well, a shiny Azumarill that I got through a shiny, uh, a tra or not a shiny trade, but a shiny breeding. This Pokemon hatched through breeding and all that stuff. As you guys can see, this Pokemon was, was hatched about, oh wow, four years ago. Holy buckets. And here we have, not Makuhita. Hold on just a sec. Okay, let's go with Probopass. Here's another Pokemon that I got a while back, and it was a shiny... what was it called? Uh, it was a shiny... what's its first form? It, yeah, its first form, and I managed to evolve it, and, well, if you guys take a look at the date right here, we caught this damn near, near like, nearly 10 years ago. Look at that. 10 years ago, and here's a Seeking that my brother managed to capture a long time ago as a Goldeen. And let's see, this Pokemon right here, damn near 10 years ago too. And the last Pokemon on the list is a Noctowl, which I managed to capture as a Shiny over, you know, five years ago right here. So that's quite a few Shiny, shiny Pokemon that we've gotten. And the one Pokemon that we actually captured here in, uh, in our current walkthrough, we're going to be using them for the gym. And luckily that we have, uh, what was it called, an experience share. So this is actually going to help us out in the long run. So, yes, let's go right ahead and talk to the only man that's ever believed in us. He's going to be like this. Yo, how's it going, champ to be Draven? Doofert's gym leader, Brawly, commands fighting-type Pokemon. Going against them with normal-type Pokemon is asking for trouble. Fighting-type Pokemon will lay a serious smackdown to normal Pokemon. So stay on your toes. Hey, okay, go for it. Hmm, okay. So, as you guys can see, there will be trainers waiting for us right here. And, well, it is a risk for me to actually use this Pokemon Gaia as a, you know, as a Switch training. But I guess, you know, just to get it to, you know, to its proper level will be, well, will we'll actually help us out right here. So, here we are taking on a Meditite. And, well, let's go right ahead and use uh, Gaia the Fierce Knight right here. And it has pure power now. Unfortunately, we can't do anything with uh, Meditite right now because, you know, my Pokemon is not up to par. So, let's go to our other partner right here, Ole. And let's see what we got. So, here we go, Ole. It's been a while, and here comes its Meditite or Meditite, Meditate attack. And, well, we got to hit it quick. So, let's go straight for a Bubble attack, and here comes a Detect. Good gravy. Okay, that's that's getting on my nerves right there. So here we go, bubble attack and an endure attack right here. So it only has one proper attack. And this bubble may or may not slow it down. So let's go straight for a razor leaf attack right here. And just like that, we take the majority of this guy's HP. Now we gotta hit it one last time because Yeah, this guy is uh yeah, this guy's gonna mess us up, so. Here we go, Razor Leaf for the win, and just like that we defeat Meditite. We get a few X points, experience points from all our Pokemon, and yeah, she is not happy. Yes, not happy. So the key to this whole thing is you gotta press onto this button and re like memorize the the area where you have to walk through in order to get to the next trainer. So let's go right ahead and do that. And here we have another trainer waiting for us. Let's go. Mm, 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 mm. This guy is going to be Hideki. Coming out with a Machop. 
Again, I would try and use a Psychic type Pokemon or try to level up a Gaia. You can capture an Abra right around uh, the Granite Cave and evolve it into a Kadabra. So I'm going to try and do this Confusion Attack. And here comes Foresight. This right here enables any kind of normal type moves to hit any kind of ghost type attack or ghost type Pokemon. And as you guys can see, Yes, Machop is now confused, so let's go right ahead and go with another confusion attack right here. Come on, hit yourself, hurt yourself, and here comes a low sweep. That lowers our speed just a tad bit, so here we go, confusion attack yet again. That almost defeats Machop, so let's go one more time. And, god dang it, it snaps out of confusion. Come on, and yet yeah, again, we lose, yeah, speed. Gotta love that. So, there you go. Machop has been defeated. Okay, and Gaia the Fierce Knight grows to level 11. And is learning Disarming Voice. This right here is a pretty good move. So, let's go right ahead and take away Growl. Okay, alrighty. So, there's that. And, well, let's see. Ole grows to level 18. That's useful. And Hideki has been defeated. So, let's go right ahead and memorize the next spot right here. And, well, let's see. Right here, right here, right here, and memorize the last spot. Oh, wow. Okay, so we have to go the opposite way. So, before we do any battling, let's go ahead and heal up our Pokemon right here. A little potion. Okay. So, it never really hurts to have a Pokemon... Huh. Yeah, we have to, it never hurts to have a, a, a switch battle, so it will be all right. Let's go right ahead and take on Tessa. And she's going to be coming out with a Metatite. Yeah, so we we have to get finished uh, we have to get finished with this one real quickly. So let's go right ahead and switch and go straight for Tommy JDF. It does have Peck Attack, so this will actually help us out just a bit. So here we go, Tommy JDF. What's up? And detect does not work. So let's go with a peck attack right here. And just like that, Meditite is now at uh, a low HP and it's hitting us with his confusion attack. So let's go right ahead, finish this guy off. Peck attack yet again. And there we go. Another victory for us. And look at this JDF grows to level 19. And the rest of the team is getting some experience points. So let's go ahead and switch out our Pokemon. Let's go straight to Gaia the Fierce Knight yet again. And, uh, well, let's see what happens. Okay, what's up, Machop? Hopefully you get confused or get beaten. And the Trace is using no guard. Let's go. I wonder if Disarming Voice actually works against this Pokemon. And Karate Chop hits us, not so effective. And yes, it is a very, very effective, it is a fairy type move. So that right there kind of like teaches me a little bit. And yes, we're getting Karate Chop like nobody's business. So here we go again. Disarming voice, almost for the win. Come on, we gotta finish this off. And this Pokemon is getting all pumped up for no reason because guess what's gonna happen right now? Yes, Disarming Voice for the win. And just like that, we win, I think. And, well, Zigzag Goon grows to level 13 and is learning Odor Sleuth. Not going to teach him that. And, well, Sexy Fly grows to level 11. And, well, let's see. Let's go right here. Okay, so we got to memorize everything because... Yeah, we, we, we constantly forget. But that right there leads us to the final sp the, the, the final place right here where Brawly's going to be waiting for us. And, uh, well, got to use these potions because I need, I need to win right here. So, let's go right ahead and let's go ahead and switch out to Tommy JDF. And let's, let's go ahead and uh, just beat this guy. Let's see what his squat thrust all his workout equipment and well look at him looking like Super Saiyan Blue I'm Broly due for gym, gym leader 
I've been churned uh, in the rough waves of these parts, and I've grown tough using the cave on the outskirts of this town as my training ground, as well as using the equipment in my gym. So you want to challenge me? Let's see what you're made of. Oh damn, okay, alrighty, look at this. Okay, let's go. Here we are taking on Brawly, the Dufort City Gym, or Dufort Town, I, don't, I, I always get those things confused. Okay, so here he comes out with a Machop. And you guys gotta remember one thing, that you know, yeah, these, these, these fighting type Pokemon are super, super strong when it comes to their physical attack. But they are very weak against psychic types, or in in this case, flying type too. So here we go, pick attack for the win, and just like that, Machop has been defeated. Alrighty, so that right there gives us more experience points. Gaia grows to level 12, and here comes Makuhita. Now the one thing that you need to guys do is make sure that it prevents you prevent the what was it called the bulk up because it will try to heighten its defense and its physical attack and as you guys can see it's using its first bulk up right here and well let's go straight for another another peck attack and from there we win oh yeah okay alrighty alrighty so there it is guys we have defeated Brawly and he's like you made a much bigger splash than I expected yes I have okay Okay, so you got me. Take this gym badge. So here it is, guys. Our second gym badge. That's right. The Knuckle Badge. Alrighty, so the Knuckle Badge makes all Pokemon up to level 30 of A, even those you get in trades without your question. Hmm. You know what? I think you can make uh, full use of this. I'm sure it will help your Pokemon bulk up some muscle. So here it is, guys. We got ourselves the bulk up technique. This will actually help us out. Bulk up temporarily enhances a Pokemon's muscle power. The move boosts both attack and uh, defensive stats of the Pokemon. I can see your talent becoming a giant wave that causes a storm of astonishment with trainers one day. I look forward to that day when we when I can surf your giant wave. By the way, have you been to the Granite Cave? It's located north of this town. It's full of fascinating stuff, like rare stones and wall paintings of thousands of years ago. My friend Steven rushed into the cave after I told him about it. Hmm, okay. Steven. Okay, so... That is that right there. The next place we need to go to is we need to go straight into the granite cave. So we're going to go up there. And right now, let's see. I don't think there's anything else that we need to do. So after you defeat the gym leader, everything frees up. And you can now freely enter this cave. And bam. You take a few steps forward, and you're going to see the ancient uh, paintings right here. Look at that. It's okay. So, you got some waves. You got an ancient Pokemon. And uh, would you look at that? Steven Stone is waiting for the for us right there. And people usually forget, but there is a comment right there. And Steven Stone just looking, pondering, wondering. Hmm. Okay, so let's go right ahead and talk to this man. Mm-hmm. So in the ancient world, their primal forms once held this much power. The super ancient Pokemon, what terrible strength. But this appearance here, it seems somehow different Mega Evolution. Hmm. It seems my questions will not be answered today. Hmm. You are? Ah, I see. It's a pleasure, Draven. My apologies. My name is Steven. I'm interested in rare stones, so I travel here and there. Today, my journey brought me here. But what about you? Oh, a letter for me. Here it is. There it is. We gave the letter to him, and, well, he's like, why, thank you. It must have been some trouble to track me down. I suppose I must repay you in some way. Let me see. I will give you this TM. Please accept it. It contains my favorite move, Steel Wing. And there it is, guys. We got ourselves a steel wing. Nice. And, well, he's going to be looking a bit at the, at the paintings. He's like, if you don't mind me asking, do you feel anything in particular when you look up to, at this wall? A primal world lost thousands of years in the past. A legendary Pokemon of tremendous power became humanity's greatest threat. The terror aroused by that power is clear to see in this ancient artwork. Yes. 
But not all power is terrible. Your Pokemon are clearly quite capable as well. Looking at you all together, I think you have it, you have it in what it takes to become a Pokemon League champion. As long as you keep training, that is. Hmm. Good luck to you. I must be going now. Alrighty, so homeboy is uh, on his way. But as you guys can see, we got some ancient ruins right here. That is that is fantastic. That is that is pretty awesome right there. Anywho, that right there is uh, what concludes our little episode. And hopefully we don't get attacked by a Pokemon right here, which we don't. Okay, so that right there concludes our episode. In the next one, guys, we will be going into Slateport City. And we're going to be continuing everything from there. Hopefully we will be capturing a new Pokemon here and there. Depends on what happens. I don't know. We, 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 we will find out and see. So, thank you guys again for being patient. Thank you guys again for being, uh, you know, just yeah, just supportive and all that stuff. In the next episode, we will be going to Duford. I will see you guys tomorrow for another episode of our Pokemon Alpha Sapphire walkthrough. See you guys.